Two police officers were shot outside Italy's prime minister's office less than a mile away from where the leaders of the nation's new government were being sworn in on Sunday. It was a chaotic scene in Rome as details remained scarce in the shooting that wounded two officers, one shot in the neck, the other in the leg, but both still alive. A man not yet identified by police dressed in a suit and tie has been detained in the shooting. Authorities haven't released any details in the shooting. The violence played out as Italy was swearing in its new leaders. After two months of political stalemate, 46-year-old Enrico Letta, set to become prime minister, will lead the government. That new government was formed through a partnership between the center-left Democratic Party leader and Silvio Berlusconi's center-right party. Left-wing President Giorgio Napolitano welcomed the new leadership Sunday. Despite his opponent's best efforts, the deal means a political resurgence for Berlusconi, the controversial former prime minister. One of his main allies, Angelino Alfano, will become deputy prime minister and interior minister in the new government. Due in part to a huge protest vote, nationwide elections left Italy without a majority party and in political limbo since February. All the while, the nation has been trying to bounce back from its worst economic recession in decades. The new coalition was made possible when the former head of Letta's party, Pier Luigi Bersani, stepped aside after weeks of refusing to strike a deal with Berlusconi and his center-right party. Letta says he's hopeful but believes Italy's political class has lost all credibility. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, a broader view.